Hey everyone, this is Sarah Nelson with Stay Listed, and I am remaking a video that I had made previously. We had gotten a lot of comments on it and a lot of hits on it, and people seemed to like it, but I actually didn't have any um, talking in it because I was a little nervous. It was one of the first videos I made, and I was a little afraid to talk on the screen. So um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and remake that. Um, this video is about how to use Google Forms and Google Sheets to create a really simple customer database. So this is going to be for people who um, aren't using a big company like HubSpot or you know one of those larger CRMs. This is going to be you know if, if you just need something real basic. So how we're going to do that is first let's go to Google Forms. You just click this first one up here. You are going to need a Gmail account to use this, but everything is free otherwise, and you know obviously Gmail accounts are free. So we're going to go start blank, and this is what it's going to look like. Um, up here, you can change the color scheme, make this look however you like it to. Um, I like the green, so we'll leave it like that. You can change everything's color here, you know however you'd like to do it. Let's make that green again. You can also even put um, your logo up top if you'd like to do that. So we're going to want to name this something like um, customer intake form or um, onboarding form or customer form. Really, this is what you're going to use to fill out to auto populate your Google Sheet, which will keep track of all your customers um, over time. So this just makes it simpler to, to add those on. You can add a form description here, um, anything that you'd like. Um, it's not really necessary. Um, so let's add a couple fields. So first let's do last name. And you'll see it automatically changes to the best question type for that question. So obviously with a last name, we just need a short field box. But you can change it to anything you'd like. You can do a long paragraph, you can do multiple choice, check boxes, drop downs, file uploads, so that's good if you're getting contracts from customers because um, you can upload that contract right there. Um, a linear scale is you know, 1 to 10, 1 to 5, um, you know, date, time, multiple choice grids, checkbox grids, so there's a lot of options here. You can kind of play around with those a little bit if you'd like, but we're just going to keep it basic for the purpose of this video. So last name, first name, we can do phone number, email. Um, and then let's just do um, referral source. Oops, spell referral right. Um, so with referral source, this is something a lot of our customers don't seem to have. A lot of people don't ask their clients how they found them. And it's very important, especially in the marketing field, because if you're paying us to do SEO or AdWords, you're going to want to make sure that you're actually getting your return on investment. So you want to be asking your customers how they found you because you might either think that the, the SEO isn't working when it really is or vice versa. So you should be asking every customer how did they find you. And we're going to put that on here so that you can track that over time and even make reports to be able to see what's benefiting you the most. So we'll do Google. Obviously, that would be your, your SEO there. We can do um, Facebook. If you're doing Facebook ads, you can do, um, if you're passing out flyers, you can do flyers. Uh, if you're doing mailers, you can say, um, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to call it junk mail. I'm not really sure what it would be called, but let's just call it a mailer for now. <laughs> Um, if you are sending out blast emails, you can do email, you can say um, referral, so if somebody had referred them to you, um, how, however many things you want to put in here, you can put that in there. I'm going to change this to a drop down instead of a multiple choice because I feel like that just makes more sense. And then I'm also going to add a notes box, and this will just allow us to add extra notes onto the, the form there. So. This is really basic. Obviously, you can play around with this and add as much or as little as you would like. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to click Responses. Over here, you'll see this little Google Spreadsheet button. Let's click that. What this is going to do is it's going to create a new spreadsheet that this form populates into. So we're going to want to title this Customer Database. Create. So now you'll see that it opens up over here. You can see all of my fields that I had added right here on the top. 
and, and that all these fields will be used for uh, populating the information that you're putting on that form. I like to make it pretty, so I'm going to bold this. Um, it automatically freezes this top bar here. That way, if I put something down here, I can scroll down and I can still see that information. So that just makes it easy. Um, you can add colors. You can make these wider if you want to, whatever you'd like to do. This is just what it's going to look like when it's basic. So now, let's go back to our form here. You are going to come over here to settings. Oh, just kidding, you're gonna to go to send, and then click this button. Looks like a little link. That's exactly what we want, is this link. You can copy it down here, and you are going to save this link. You'll wanna bookmark this, because this is where you're gonna go when you're adding new customers. So I'm just gonna open up a new tab here, paste it in there. If you didn't know, Control-V, paste. You can also right click to paste it. So now this is what my form looks like. So every time I get a new customer, I'm gonna come here. So let's say I have a new customer, um, last name Nelson, first name Sarah, 855-730-6663, email sarah at staylisted.com, referral source. Um, this customer said they found me on Google and I'm gonna put any notes that I want. Um, client interested in SEO services. Submit. So I can submit another response if I wanted to. So if you're doing multiple, adding multiple customers at once, you can do that. Now I come back over here and it has auto populated all that information for me. Now it, it's really simple. Obviously there's not um, a lot that's going into this. You can add many, many more fields. But for me, the great thing about doing it this way is that you can make um, charts and graphs off of every single one of these. So if I was looking to find out um, what percentage of my customers listed all the way down through here have found me through Google, then I could create a graph that would show me the different um, avenues of people finding me in their percentages. And, um, you know, it, it's just really beneficial. So that's, I guess, how you make a uh, basic customer database really easily using Google Forms and Sheets. It's free and it's just a way for you to keep track of everybody. Um, and obviously I don't have enough time in this video, but you can go through and you can learn a lot of stuff about Google Sheets and how you can make those different kinds of charts and customize this to really make it work for you without having to go and pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a CRM that has a lot of stuff that maybe you don't use. Um, so that's what we have here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.